Okay, so when they were developing the model of the atom, there was this guy called Niels Bohr, and right? he was wondering, why do certain elements give out certain patterns of colours when they are excited with energy, such as uh, if you give them electricity, or if you heat them up with a Bunsen burner, they often give you a sort of a characteristic glow of colours, and if you look at them very carefully, you get certain stripes of colours. And he thought that these stripes of colours since they had very specific energies, since red light has this very specific energy compared to ultraviolet light, he thought that perhaps that the electrons, when they are excited and then come back down to ground state, they must be giving up these very specifics of energy. So, I've got a staircase here, and I want you to imagine that the ground that I'm standing on is called the ground state. That is, the atom is kind of sitting underneath me, and the nucleus is down there, and all the surface electrons are down there. So we're going to be looking at some of the valence electrons, the ones on the very outside. So I'm going to be a valence electron, as you watch down the staircase, that when you excite an atom, you give the outside electrons energy. And the electrons will only move if you give them just the right amount of energy. It's not really possible to get from one step to the next unless you have enough energy to get there. If you don't, you don't make it up the next step. And so you give it energy, it gets excited, it goes higher and higher energy levels, and that's what the staircase here is representing. And once you go up to these excited energy levels, you are in an excited state. But electrons don't want to be like this, because this is not very stable. So what they will do is they will relax back down to ground state. But as you notice with the staircase, you can come back down to ground state in a number of different ways. You can go in one giant leap, or you could go at smaller steps. Every time you jump and land on a different step, you hit the ground with a certain amount of energy. Just in the same way that an electron monk, when it comes down one energy level, it gives up the excess energy that it had originally obtained. And this is given off as a frequency of light. So if you jump down from a very high step to a very low step, that's a dramatic change in energy. You'll hit the ground pretty hard. If an electron goes from a very high energy level down to a very low energy level, then it will give off a very high amount of energy. This will be a very high frequency uh, of, of light, something like uh, violet or ultraviolet or even, you know, something even further. However, if you t make a smaller jump, then you will only get a small amount of energy, hence a lower frequency of light, because lower frequencies, like red, have low energy. I hope this helps, guys. Check it out, I've got an experiment coming up later on this afternoon where we actually excite a whole bunch of elements in a, a gas form and you can see uh, all the spectra, uh, the certain frequencies of light that are emitted from each element. Alright, see you later. Bye.